I went off to college, uh, I was really planning on uh, ma majoring in something in agriculture, and I was planning on returning to the farm. I grew up on a, on a farm in South Bossier Parish. I did a lot of on the river, duck hunting, uh, rabbit hunting in the cotton fields, and as the cotton pickers ran them out of the field and that sort of thing. And uh, we just had a great time in that part in our youth. Well, I thought he was a nice, clean cut looking farmer. <laughs> and then he went to Texas A&M with nice boots and uniform. I made a, a hard right or a hard left turn or something uh, somewhere along the way and got into the uh, uh, oil and gas uh, extractive industry type business. And I started seeing uh, other things that were interesting, uh, unrelated to farming, and uh, that led to um, uh, a job offer in Houston, Texas with Pennzoil Company by Hugh Litke, who was chairman of the board of Pennzoil Company at the time. He's worked in, uh, in Washington. Uh, he was a, a part of the uh, administration. They loaned him for a year uh, to uh, uh, be in the uh, uh, White House where he sat in on all the top briefings and uh, uh, and, and was at the top level of, uh, of our government. In Berlin, going through Checkpoint Charlie at the Berlin Wall into East Berlin to the uh, American Mission in East Berlin, uh, owned business for the U.S. Treasury. Uh, that was a very sobering experience for me. He, he's an outstanding businessman. You know, I, I knew him from when he was president of Bristol, um, and he really did a great job on that company. I, I did a lot of work with the board of directors. He was, he's a very impressive uh, CEO, and uh, so I was trying to learn from him, basically. We became the largest independent provider of natural gas storage and salt caverns in the United States. And, and that's what uh, really was the, um, that, that was the home run that we hit uh, with Crystal. And, and I think that was um, the greatest achievement uh, that, I, that I was able to do. He just applies pure business logic and has always been looking uh, for what makes the most sense to the shareholder in, in the ultimate decision. I think Joe is sort of the total businessman. He's really uh, worked his way up and he understands. He understands the accounting side. Uh, he understands the risk uh, management side. Joe is, uh, has a very uh, steady, even keel about him. Uh, he doesn't react uh, and typically uh, in a strong way, one way or the other. The most significant thing about Joe is his attitude and his uh, personality and his uh, uh, just easygoing attitude. He never gets uh, you know, frustrated, or at least he, he covers it up real well. So he's a great guy. He's got a great demeanor for business. He's very calm, and he has a great head on his shoulder for common sense and uh, what people need to, need to have in order for him to express himself in such a way that he makes them feel calm about what they're discussing, as well as his knowledge of the subject. He's just a very calm sort of person. He never gets mad or excited. He analyzes a situation, whether it be personnel or whether it be financial. and. Uh, I don't think, to my knowledge, he's ever made any mistakes, so <laughs> he seems to have done very well. He does have one shortcoming. He, uh, he cannot make a short speech, so if you give him some time on the podium as part of this event, uh, you, you better limit him to the amount of time that he can talk. Joe has, is, is someone who has given back to the community as we've all been told we should by, uh, by our teachers, by our ministers, uh, uh, and Joe practiced that. He, he does an enormous amount of work uh, for some organizations like Cyport. I know he's spent hundreds of hours on Cyport, 
and he could have been running another big company and making a lot of money and he's devoted just a ton of time to Cyport and he's now you know he's chairman of the board of the community foundation and I work with him on that so he gives a lot of his time to our community and that's um, you know pretty special thing about Joe. We in the community uh, we can do a lot more to work with Junior Achievement help Junior Achievement to educate students because the education in the classroom uh, for a free enterprise and what that really means to our country is not going on. It's not being done in the classroom and so it makes um, what the Junior Achievement uh, people do even more important. Joe, of course, is, a, is a, uh, extremely uh, close to his family. Uh, and that went both ways, up to his parents, uh, mother and father, and down to his children, and now to his grandchildren. My father uh, being a mentor to me uh, early on and instilling me in, into me the, uh, the characteristics that he felt uh, make for a good person, and that's uh, integrity, uh, honesty, hard work, uh, and and responsibility to your family as well as your community. He's got a great family. I know his entire family and uh, we travel together and uh, he, they all get along great and uh, he, he's kind of outnumbered because they're all girls. Uh, so he, he uh, never gets in the bathroom or anything like that. So he's always a little bit late uh, because of that. His family was referred to as the team and uh, it was, uh, that was his team and he was part of their team and uh, uh, they were always number one on the list. Well, he is a wonderful father, and uh, has two lovely daughters and two lovely granddaughters and a beautiful wife. And he uh, goes everywhere they want to go, and uh, he, he now has a very nice watercraft yacht to uh, entertain his family and friends in, and I've been fortunate enough to go a few times with him could not have done any of this without the support of the family and uh, that starts with Abby and then uh, our two daughters, uh, Amy and Julie, and we couldn't have been blessed with um, a better family than we have and they're both married and we have two granddaughters now and uh, we're blessed with that. Joe's one of those guys that uh, uh, is true blue. He likes the real things. Uh, he's a, a real family man, and uh, I think has a marvelous sense of humor. He's a role model for me as a businessman, and I know he would be a role model for any uh, young person that's contemplating business. Uh, again, that may be, a, he, he is one of the more appropriate uh, recipients of this award. I can't think of any citizen of Shreveport Bossier that has done more for his community than Joe Everett has and given his time, talent, and his money. <laughs> I don't see how you can beat those three. I consider Joe to be my mentor. And after uh, the benefit of working for the guy for 20 years, uh, he is a class act. And Joe is the definition of character and integrity. I tell you what, I would probably say that this man is probably as deserving, if not more deserving, than most people that have gotten any kind of a war from the Junior Achievement uh, Organization. Uh, he's been very involved in the community, uh, in business. His business relationships have always been impeccable. Um, and I tell you, he could be very much admired for it.